Hi team. I hope that you're having a good Thursday so far or Friday, depending on what day it is. Um, I wanted to make a little video just to walk you through what you're going to be doing today with the sub. So as I told you in class on Monday and Tuesday, you're going to be watching an episode of the TV show Mo today. Um, you're going to be doing comparative analysis between the episode of the TV show Mo that you watch and chapter six and seven of Persepolis. So I'm going to share my screen with you just so that you have a visual representation of what you should be working on and doing as you work your way through class and over the weekend. Okay, so you should have a handout in front of you that looks like this. The very first part, you're going to think about chapter six and seven, you're going to review your summaries, and you're going to think about how Margie is beginning to lose her innocence. So we've already seen several incidents of this along the way already. Um, when she learns about her family's background, when she learns about what had happened to her grandpa, when she sees what happens to the maid, Mary, um, and then she has this experience with these freed people who had been previously imprisoned in chapter six and seven. I also want you to consider what this process is doing to her faith. Um, is it renewing her faith? Is it weakening her faith? Is it causing her to question her faith? Um, explain that here. Then in class today, y'all are going to be watching an episode of the TV show Mo. Um, I give you a little bit of background, a little bit of context, but it tells the story of not an Iranian man. Okay, so let me make that clear. He's not Iranian. He's a Palestinian man, and his family were refugees during the Gulf War in the 90s. Um, and he's in this long process of becoming a U.S. citizen. So he's been struggling with his own sense of self because it's been really difficult for him to maintain a job. Um, and then he is in the process of finding a new lawyer in the episode that you're going to be watching. And the lawyer is going to present to him some background information that's really necessary for his case. Um, and in that, he's going to learn some details about things that have happened to his father. It's going to re renew his sense of um, memory. Um, and then we get a little bit of background of like the trauma that his family has faced as well. So while you are watching, take some notes of things that you feel like can connect the character Mo to Margie's character. Um, and again, Mo is like not in this process of um, losing his innocence, but he is in this process of like figuring things out that is very similar to the process that Margie is going through. When you're done watching the episode, you're going to work your way through this comparative six step. So for those of you who are at Sequoia during your sophomore year, the six step should be familiar for y'all. You're going to be working on a comparative six step for this assignment. And you might also be like, oh, I know this stuff. It comes so natural when I think about the text. Like, I feel like I don't have to do this. Um, based on y'all's writing responses um, on Monday and Tuesday of this week, y'all need to outline your writing before you begin writing. Um, so you're going to get down all of the information here. And then you're going to think about the different things that unite the two texts. You're going to come up with two different options here for subject one and subject two. And then after you've thought about it, you're going to choose one subject that you're going to write on. Then you're going to write one introduction paragraph where you're going to introduce both of the texts. And then you're also going to um, write one body paragraph that compares one global issue or in another way to phrase it, one idea that shows up across both Mo and Persepolis. Um, you're going to have another handout that's given to you that gives you some comparative analysis language and then also just gives you a brief overview or kind of like a checklist to work your way through the writing of things that you should be including. Um, your assignment that you turn in next week on this, it can be handwritten or it can be typed, whatever you prefer. If it's typed, you need to be sure to print it out and bring a copy of it with you to class. There's nothing that's going to be submitted on Canvas. And then on top of this assignment, y'all are also going to be reading chapters eight and nine of the book. And that means that you also need to pick up an additional note sheet because you only have notes if you've been on track um, through chapter eight. As always, email me if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer anything that might be um, might be bothering you or something that you need to figure out or something that you're not sure that you're doing it right. Um, but then also I want you all to maybe get over this idea that you have to be super perfect with your writing and trust your instinct um, because that's the real way that you're going to be able to figure things out rather than me kind of guiding you along the process of what your writing should sound like. 
Um, so trust your instinct, be nice to the sub, do your comparative analysis, don't have your phone out. This is the sub's permission to take your phone away. And you also should be seated in the seating chart that is featured on the slides uh, when you come into class. So for second period, there shouldn't be anyone in those back to corner desks. And then in fifth period, there definitely should not be anyone in that back row. Um, and you definitely shouldn't have your phone out because it's a really interesting show and it's funny. And again, if you're sensitive to some of the things that happen in it, just the heads up that there's language, um, not full nudity, but there is partial nudity um, and there is the consumption of coding cough syrup. All right. I hope you have a good weekend. I will see you next Tuesday, Wednesday. You're going to greet me with your comparative analysis written, and we're also going to get caught up with Persepolis. I will see you then.